In this tutorial, I will try to solve problem 10.7. This problem is about a helical compression spring, which is made up of hard drawn wire, having wire diameter 0.08 inches, and the outer diameter of the spring is 0.88. The spring comprises of 8 coils. We are required to find out the free length, and then we will have to find out the pitch of the spring. Then in part C, we are required to find out the solid force, and D, we are required to find out the spring rate K. And lastly, we will have to find out whether buckling would occur or not, as the ultimate tensile strength is equal to A divided by D to the power M, A and M values are taken from table 10.4, and in the table for hard on wire, M is equal to 0 0.19 and A is equal to 140 kpsi, putting these values in the formula, that will yield 226.2 kpsi, as torsional yield strength is equal to some percentage of SUT, and that percentage is taken from table 10.6 which is 45% for music and cold drawn carbon steel. So SSY is equal to 0 0.45 and 226.2 that will give you 101.8 kilo PSI. Now from table 10.1, NT is equal to NA plus 1 and, and free length is equal to P into NA plus 1 and pitch is equal to L0 divided by NA. So from the table, NT is equal to NA plus 1, rearranging for NA that will give you NT minus 1, NT is that so NA is equal to 7. Similarly, LS is equal to DNT, D is 0 0.08 and NT is that so ls is equal to 0 0.64 inches this 0 0.88 is external diameter so mean coil diameter is equal to external diameter minus wire diameter which is equal to 0 0.88 minus 0 0.08 which will give you 0 0.8 so mean coil diameter is 0 0.8 inches and c is the ratio between mean coil diameter and the wire diameter so 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.08 that will give you 10 so c is equal to 10 now kb is equal to 4c plus 2 divided by 4c minus 3 c is equal to 10 so KB is equal to 42 divided by 37 that will give you 1.135 Q as tau is equal to KB into 8 at D divided by pi D cube this D cube is wire diameter cube so now replace tau with tau s and F with Fs factor of safety is equal to torsional yield strength divided by tau s so tau s is equal to SSY divided by factor of safety so SSY divided by NS is equal to KB into 8 F s D divided by pi D cube now rearrange this equation for fs so fs is equal to pi d cube and to ssy divided by ns whole divided by at and to d kb in this equation all other values are known except this ns in the book it has given that factor of safety should be at least 1.2 so for safe safe operation we will take ns equals to 1.2 so put the lower case d to be 0 0.08 and ssy is equal to 1.2 one zero one point at and to ten is to power three and n s is equal to one point two and k b is equal to one point one three five and mean coil diameter is equal to zero point eight so put all these values that will give you fs is equal to thirteen point seven eight now let's find out the value of the k so that we can find out l s then from the equation f is equal to k x and l naught will be equal to f s divided by k plus l s so for the k we need to have value of the g which can be found out from the table and d is equal to 0 0.08 inches this is 0 0.8 and n is 7 for hard round spring our diameter is between this range which is 0 0.08 so the g value for it will be 11.5 so putting the values it will give you k is equal to 16.43 lbf per inch so l naught is equal to 18.7 divided by 16.43 plus 0 0.6 and that will give you L0 is equal to 1.78 inches this step is not needed if you do it directly like this now we are required to find out the pitch so using table 10.1 pitch is equal to L0 divided by NA plus 1 and if you see NA plus 1 is equal to NT so pitch is equal to L0 divided by NT L0 is 1.78 and NT is 8 so 1.78 divided by 8 will give you P is equal to 0.223 in part c we were required to find out solid force fs and we have done that part already fs is equal to 18.7 at lbf and in part d we were required to find out the spring rate k we have calculated or found out that as well so k is equal to 16.43 lbf per inch in part e we were required to find out whether the buckling would occur or not so to avoid the buckling l naught should be less than l critical and l critical is equal to 2.63 into mean coil diameter divided by alpha 
alpha value can be taken from table 10.2 and when the spring is supported between two parallel flat plates then alpha is 0 0.5 and d is 0 0.8 so 2.63 and 2 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.5 so l critical is equal to 4.21 inches and this value is greater than l naught which was 1.78 so buckling will not occur